together. So it's day 11 and I've just come out of the pain cave and that was my third session of the week. Uh, it was another 45 minute session, uh, endurance based obviously. And I was working again in between 60 and 80% of my FTP. Um, found it pretty hard today. Um, I don't know whether that's because it's my third day in a row and obviously I had two weeks off the bike completely. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was fully fueled. Um, felt like I'd got pre plenty of energy prior to getting on the bike. I slept well last night. Um, but yeah, it was difficult. And uh, power-wise, I mean, I was hitting my numbers and everything that were required. Uh, and, you know, that's relatively easy to focus upon when you've got a smart trainer you're not you, all you're concentrating really on is turning the pedals um, and keeping the cadence up but in the last 15 minutes of the session I felt I just I just felt it through my legs in my quads and I was just starting to tire a little bit um, found the session pretty pretty difficult cardio wise too my heart rate was up again and when I was in the sort of uh, uh, the, the, the two minute intervals that were taking me up to about 220 watts, um, I think my, my heart rate was on the, on the, you know, bordering on the limit really. Um, well, I was definitely up in zone four anyway. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't zone five, but you know, I was, I was up there and I was feeling that. Um, and I know you feel, you do feel that when you, uh, when you start back winter training preparing for a new season after you've taken a break you know your body's forgot what it's like to suffer so you've got to get used to it again so yeah there was that um but i dealt with it and i got through the through the session uh it was difficult with the movement again um you know it, it's un it's uncomfortable when you can't put two hands on the bars and what that in turn does especially on a turbo uh you just you can't alleviate the pressure through the saddle you know every now and again i like to get out of the saddle for like five or ten seconds just to um take that pressure off because we all know what it's like being on a turbo uh for for any amount of time but i mean usually you know 45 minutes would be just like i don't know you know like a five minute walk to me you know in the season i can sp i'll spend two hours sometimes on the trainer but at the moment, 45 minutes feels like an eternity because because of my movement and and because it's the beginning of the year. So it was a hard session, and you know I know it's not going to be easy, but we got through it, and now we're going to look onward to I think probably Saturday when my next session will be. I think tomorrow is a day off. But we'll have to wait and see what Jamie puts on my training peaks. Uh, so I'm going to get showered up now and get ready to go out for a walk. And I'm going to catch up with you then. And I'm going to tell you all about how uh, my hospital appointment went this morning and what the doctor had to say about the shoulder recovery. So I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so we're down in the range now. And I'm just going to grab a quick 30 minute cool down walk before we head back for our evening meal. Uh, it's a beautiful autumnal evening. The sun's out, the temperature's just right, and there's no wind at all, which is really unusual for the UK. The UK is known for its breeze, but there's nothing, and it's it's quite eerie actually. Uh, Lisa's up ahead of me. She's walking with Marley. She fancied catching a few steps today as well. So yeah, I just wanted to take this opportunity to finish off the diary and fill fill you in about how today's appointment went with the doctor. Uh, I went and had an x-ray and the x-ray seemed all good. It was funny to, to actually see it and see the screws going through the, through the bone and knitting everything together. Um, yeah, that was, I wish I'd have took a photograph of it uh, so I could put it on the blog, but I didn't get a chance to do that. Uh, the, uh, the surgeon's uh, second in command took a look at my movement and he was sort of happy with where that is at, at this point. And then the nurse 
redressed the wound. They were happy that the, um, uh, the stitches were in good condition and the wound wasn't infected or inflamed and it had healed pretty nicely. So they put a dry dressing on it now and I can take that off in a day or two. So uh, sort of back to normal with that. Um, it was all positive really. He was really happy, I'm, everything's on target gave me a, uh, an appointment with the physiotherapist and I had a few more exercises to add to the ones that I'm already doing. Uh, the only negative was that I was hoping that I was going to get out of this sling in four weeks but it's still going to be six weeks. So uh, I'm not going to be able to run for another four weeks and I'm going to be uncomfortable on that trainer for a, another four weeks. But Another step forward today, I've got to see the surgeon again in four weeks and then I'll be released. So yeah, that's about me for today. So as always, this is the Triathlon Diaries and I'm checking out.